Hey guys, I'm LB, and between episodes, when I was working on this, I noticed this looks very suspicious. And so I went and I looked around a bit, and I figured out where we have to stand in order to do that. Uh, is it upstairs? Yeah, I think it's upstairs. We actually have to stand over by that rotating triangle puzzle. I mean, the, the circular triangle puzzle. We have to go around the column and stand here. And that's the reflection we saw. Where did that go? Well, it shows that we got it, so... Interesting. But yeah, if you stand just a little bit out of the way... And, uh... Yeah, you can hear it. Yeah. Okay, so. Let's go back to the color puzzle, and I will show you what I have done so far. I didn't get too far, because I wanted to show this on screen, because I thought it was cool. Instead of using Microsoft Paint this time, I'm using Paint.net. So, uh, let me turn that on real quick. Here's the window. And, uh... I've been- I've been working on, uh, this here. Unfortunately, I can't get OBS to capture the- the little tool windows along the sides here that let me select tools and stuff. But you can see the important thing. I've worked so far this much on the puzzle. And, uh... Yeah, not really a good place to put it for this, but, uh... I guess I'll put it here when we actually have solved it, but for now, what we want to do is work with this. So, we can actually switch between that pretty well. But the nice thing about this is that here in uh, paint.net, you can't see what I'm clicking on, but it's called hue slash saturation control shift U. And you also can't see this window, but this window lets me do this. And, uh, yeah, that is what we are going to use to help figure this out. So. If we look here, uh, these are the yellows, and these are the blues. The yellows look like this. This is how yellow looks along yellow. So, these two are also yellow. And I think I determined that these were also yellow as well. Oops, I gotta get rid of that window. Yeah, yeah, I determined that those were also yellow as well. And then... Let's see here, we wanna find other yellows for right now. So, if we shift- so, we have to keep in mind that the purple ones are yellow when on a yellow black background. So, if we shift this this way... Uh, so that's how it normally looks, right? Those are also yellow. There's some yellow along up here. Yeah, so there's like... An, a kind of l shape overhang of yellow. It kind of looks something like... Let me select the colors here. Something like... Oh, nope, nope, nope. That's not what I wanted to do. There we go. Like this. And this is where I see the yellows at. So, already that is looking rather complicated in terms of isolating stuff, and we haven't even gotten all the dots on here yet. Like, we don't even know what these are yet. Uh... But I want to look for if there's any more yellows. So, let's see... Oop, do we want to go this way? Yeah, those are definitely yellows. Those... okay. I think that's actually all the yellows. Okay, so. The blues. Let's look at the blues now. I have some of the blues already done, because they were trivial, like... Like, these three here are blue, and all these along the bottom are blue, of course, because you can see that. And... 
We want to figure out what these are. So, let's do our hue saturation thing. And... How do we want to shift this to see the blues? So... On an orange background, the blues look pink. So let's shift the orange up here. No, that makes red up with, uh, with these two here. These turn red. Uh, let's reset. So yeah, these three are blue. They look pink on an orange-yellow background like that. So if we shift this around... What color did I say they look? They look pink, right, okay. If we shift this around, we'll try and find more of the pinks. I'm not seeing any. I see some weird reds appearing. I think the reds are the only one we haven't dealt with in terms of... They all look the same. The reds... The ones that look red right now, they all look like they're the same thing. And they look like they are not... Well, they might be. Hmm. What if we shift it this way? That makes it turn... Hmm. What color are they under yellow? Or under green, sorry. Under green, they kinda turn whitish. The blues turn whitish under green, it looks like. I think we're dealing with three colors in this puzzle. The only ones that I have not marked down yet, I'm gonna call those red. But I don't actually know what color they actually are, I'm just going to call them red. So, that's along here and up here. So let me pick red, and I will fill those two, and these. Yeah, we only have five free spaces. Okay. Let's use this to try and solve the puzzle. Actually, let me... oops. Let me make this bigger. <laughs> uh, actually slightly smaller. That'll work. That'll do for now. <laughs> Okay, let's try and solve this thing. So, right away, we could do this, and that separates off the, the yellows on the left. How do we want to separate the reds, though? Like, that would get the reds on the right. How about we how about we separate the yellows this way? That's that makes more sense actually. I'm going to gather all the yellows right now and then I'll figure out what to do after that. That is all the yellows gathered. I don't think that's right. Oh no, okay, so I guess the reds were actually blues. And I'm just... I don't know, I can't see the colors very well. That worked, so... Yeah, the, the ones that are red must have actually been blue. This, this must have only been two, two colors, so let me... Just for the sake of showing you guys what was going on, let me, let me fix that real quick. Uh... Blue. That's what we were actually working with. Okay. That makes a lot more sense. I had a feeling it might have been that way, but I wasn't too sure. Okay. Well, we're done with this puzzle. Don't need paint.net anymore. <laughs> uh, go away. 
Okay. So now that we've done that, let's go... I wanted to actually do the... These puzzles. Here we go. I want to figure out what we can do here. Are these symmetry puzzles? Well, these make a weird sound. These sound like the, uh, the one where the, the people were standing up to- at the top of the mountain. Probably because they're stuffing the way in the same vein, you know, as that. Okay, rotating three long pieces. I wonder if it matters which of these exits we use. Or if we're gonna draw multiple paths or not. That would be kind of interesting. That would take care of those, right? Oh, it doesn't even give me feedback. Ooh. That's not nice. So that gets- takes care of those, right? Then... these guys... How do we want to take care of them? We can do that. That works. I want to see if it matters which, uh... Which exit we take. What if we do this exit? Okay, it doesn't really matter which exit we take. In that case, I'll just do the shortest one for now. Yep. That works. Hmm... This is... similar... Okay. So far, so good. <laughs> Are they all gonna be this simple? Or does it really matter which exits I take? What happens if I do this the other way? Nothing. What's that weird sound? Yeah, I could do this. These- these can all easily be rotated. I'm not sure about this one, actually. This one can easily be rotated any which way I want. This one can be rotated any which way I want. And, uh... Not sure about this one, not sure about this one. Okay, how do we want to approach this one? Come on. He seemed really easy, I... I'm kind of worried about that. Still don't know what that weird sound is. Also, I don't know where to find more puzzles after these. Like, there's more underground areas than just this. I think we did everything up these stairs, right? Yeah, yeah, we already did all of these. There's nothing else up here, as far as I know. So let's go to this, uh, this, this guy. <coughs> all the ones on the bottom are twos. Oh my. <coughs> <laughs> I 
How am I gonna deal with the fact that all the bottom ones are twos? Because I could just do something like, uh, this. Oh no, that wouldn't work. Okay, this'll kinda work. No, not for that guy, though. Ooh. How do we deal with the bottom? That is the question. Like that, I guess. That'll work, yeah. Okay. Ooh, but this won't. <laughs> no, that's three times. That's not going to work. Oh no, this one's only gonna get passed by once. That's so close! So close! Oop, no, no, I wanna see which one erred. Oh, I guess it doesn't even show me. But that's so close. That is so close. <coughs> I just need to think about this differently, s slightly. Oops, nope. Uh, no, that actually, that was fine. Uh, that was okay. No, because that'll pass them twice. I have to go up. What if I go back instead? Hmm, that's an issue. Cause this guy's only gonna get passed by once. And this guy's not gonna get past at all if I do that. Oh, 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 good, good. That works. How do I do the rest? Ooh. Make this guy get past three times. Oh.
What if I did something like that? No, that would... Oh, no, no, no. Maybe let's try that. Let's try that. Hmm, no. Because this traps us, and this makes him get past three times. I know we're on the right track. Oops, nope, 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 nope. Yeah, we have to go up immediately. That's the problem. What if we go this way? Oh, that makes the guy get past three times. Unless... We do that. Yes! 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 Well, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye!